Leeds University campus in the south of Manchester is home to more than 3,000 students. It's also at the centre of a spike in infections that seen numbers in the city rise to the highest level seen anywhere since widespread testing began. Lissa studies English and drama. She's been confined to her room for nearly 10 days after three of her eight flatmates tested positive. She thinks this was always going to happen. It's inevitable, you know, you've got students coming from all over the country, all different areas and backgrounds, and it's going to spread like wildfire because you can't, you can't expect students, you know, if you're a young person in a new city, not to go and socialise, you know, like, there was flat parties. In Manchester, 11 of the 12 areas with the biggest increase in cases are those with the highest number of students. Fallowfield, with many halls of residence, is the worst, with cases rocketing there from 33 three weeks ago to 558 last week, an astonishing increase of 1,591%. Compare that to neighbouring Levenshume, where there were 33 cases three weeks ago, but just 22 last week, a decrease of 33%. In Parliament today, the Prime Minister was asked to explain why the northwest of England is suffering. Will he level with the people of Berry, Burnley and Bolton and tell them what does he actually think the problem is here? Mr Speaker, the problem is, alas, that the disease continues to spread in the way that uh, I described to the House earlier. And the, the figures that he gives are, are no surprise since they're fundamentally repetitions of what I've uh, what I've already told uh, the House. There's now talk of a new set of measures in the north of England, including a complete shutdown of bars, pubs and restaurants. Local leaders say they need to know what the plans are before they happen. It's not acceptable anymore for the government to adopt an approach which is uh, restrictions as the first port of call and just putting those on places without... Uh, the support that, that is needed. This bar in Fallowfield has worked hard to comply with the current rules. It relies on students for the bulk of its business and the owner says shutting him down wouldn't solve anything. By shutting venues like this, all it will encourage is more house parties where we're going to have more issues, more outbreak, more transmission of COVID. The 141 hospital admissions yesterday in the northwest of England may not reflect the surge in cases, but if the current trends continue, the fear is of a further step back to lockdown. Damon Green, ITV News, in Manchester.